So now that we have this interface, if I right click inside this window here, you'll notice that we have a context menu for the interface and I'm going to select create node. And what you'll notice here is that we have a series of menu of all the different nodes built into Unity or built into uh, this current version of Shader Graph inside Unity. And these have been split into different groups, such as artistic nodes, um, input nodes. So if you want to input in values or position of the camera or uh, scene fog and various things outside the graph. Um, we also have some math nodes that subtract, divide, multiply, uh, forms of trigonometry and things like that. Uh, procedural nodes, which generate noise and shapes um, entirely in the node. Utilities. So we also have logic for AND branching and things like that. Um, I'm not actually going to go through every single node because, like I said, there's probably like 200 plus and this will be a 200 hour live session. Um, but instead, I'm going to use a couple of key nodes to get some unique visuals um, for our spider robot. So I could go through each of these individual uh, menus or instead you can type into this uh, search here and it will actually filter based on what you type on what node you're looking for. So as you become more familiar with the library, you'll be able to type very quickly and sort of get the exact node you're looking for. So in this case, I wanna create a Fresnel effect node. So we have this nice room lighting node. Now each node has a very similar structure. You have the name of the node, you have the inputs on the left and you have the output or outputs on the right. So for a Fresnel effect, it's looking for a normal for the object, a view direction, in this case world space, and a power value. And you notice here that as I scrub this power value, we can see the preview changing live directly on this node. And what we've really tried to do with a lot of these nodes is offer previews so you can tweak things directly in Shader Graph and not have to keep saving, going back to the scene all the time. We instead see results very quickly entirely in this window. So now that I have this Fresnel effect, we have an output which will be this Fresnel outline. And what we can then do is select this output and connect it just by clicking um, the little uh, circle node connection piece. I don't know the exact name. Um, and once you've selected it, you can then choose where this outputs to, either other nodes or in this case, the PBR master node. So I'm just gonna output this through the emission channel. You notice that as soon as I do that, this Fresnel effect is now being put through the emission, which is now being put onto our spider robot in this preview here. And as I change the power, you can notice that the live, um, it's updating live in this preview and we can see the results pretty much instantaneously. Now this front end effect is nice, but we may not necessarily want our spider robot to have this white outline. We may want to be able to set a color. So this is where the property section comes in use in this blackboard. By selecting the plus in the blackboard, we get a different, um, we, we have a range of different properties we can expose to Material Inspector. And if you've used materials in Unity before, which most of you probably have, you'll notice that there's a lot of similarities um, between what you've used and in this blackboard, such as a color, a texture, a cube map slot, vector one for just a, a one value, uh, like an integer, uh, vector two for X and Y, vector three for X, Y, Z. They're all basically kind of exposed public uh, variables or properties. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a color property and call this Fresnel color and by selecting this uh, area here we then open up the color picker so let's set this to I don't know something like yellow and now that we have this Fresnel color property I can then take this property and drag and drop it into this uh, node interface and this property will then be tied to this node so we're using this as an input so now we have a Fresnel effect and a color being determined from this blackboard Kind of think of different properties on this blackboard as kind of like global values that you can set and then input or um, intersect into various points of your um, graph. So now we want to take this color, in this case yellow, and apply it to this Fresnel effect. And this is where we can actually combine nodes or do some kind of maths to combine them together. 
In this case, I'm going to create another node and I'm going to create a multiply node, which takes in two values and multiplies them together and gives you a result. And I'm going to output the Fresnel effect into one slot, output the Fresnel color into the other slot. And you'll notice now that the preview will show the color multiplied by the Fresnel effect to get the yellow glow. And then I can output this into the emission. And as I change this uh, property here in the blackboard, you'll notice that the, pa uh, the preview is actually updating live to all the things that this property affects. So you can see it's very visual and be able to test and modify your shader directly in the graph using the previews.